Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the Works Dolly. So this is actually a multi-purpose cart that you could use for not only utilizing it as like a dolly system to move and lift things, but you also have it as basically a wheelbarrow as well. So this is a really, really um, genius design. Um, in fact, um, when we originally got this, I didn't even know anything like this existed, but um, as you can see, we've had this for a number of years. It's taken its toll, but it's been very useful as something that we've had um, around our household. Generally, we have, a, we have a very large garden, so we're spending a lot of time moving things, um, whether or not it's plants, soil, dirt, um, wood, other things that we might need to you know, just move around the house, as well as larger items maybe that are in a box, something like that, you can utilize the dolly. So I'll kind of go through some of the features of this, give you some uh, feedback on it, and just give you my overall thoughts. So the first thing I want to mention is that you do have these really nice um, grips here in the back. Um, it has like a nice um, two-tone color, and again, this is very worn because we've had it for many years, but you have kind of the gray steel color with the orange off-white, and then you've got um, these big large hand grips that you can use so these are going to be pretty comfortable regardless of whatever that you're lifting um, you know despite how heavy it may be and then you have these really sturdy tires and again these never needed to be filled up with air it's basically a special type of tire it's almost like this very rugged um, permanent tire that's never going to lose air or need to be filled up or anything like that so this is um, a very very rugged tire you're not going to have any issues going over any terrain because of the the um, material that this is made of um, as you can see if I put my thumb on this and actually put pressure these are extremely firm it's almost just like a very very sturdy tire so I think it's really nice that they included these and the fact that they're so large really makes it that uh, it's going to work in just about any type of terrain you also have these big long hooks that can actually swing out so if you're utilizing the dolly piece and you have something heavy, so I'll give an example, right? We have a box over here. I've got all my cardboard I've just kind of threw here off the deck, but um, this box here, imagine that was very, very heavy. I could have these bars and bring them out, and that way it, the box isn't gonna tip off the dolly like left or right. This is gonna kind of keep it in place and give us that extra protection. In terms of the dolly itself, um, you have these little divots here on the front left and the front right that you can actually move this. Um, you basically move this in and then the dolly piece will, will come up and now you basically transform this into a dolly where you can tip it upright and it's still gonna function the same way. In terms of the cart itself, obviously you have a small basin here. I wouldn't say it's obviously as big as a standard wheelbarrow, but um, it's still gonna be enough that if you wanna move things around that are gonna be fairly heavy, it's gonna work really well. Um, I will say compared to a standard wheelbarrow, you know, if I'm standing upright, this does tip quite a bit. So I don't recommend using it for things that are gonna be falling out of it or maybe overlapping it. We recently had um, some wood that we had to tear off the side of our house when we were re we redoing like a patio slider. And we had all this extra wood and I actually put some of it in here, but it was just too long for this. So a lot of it was kind of sliding out. So it really isn't designed for something that's much larger than what this basin can actually accommodate. Um, other than that, I really, really love this wheelbarrow. Um, you have these big grips as well in the back, so it's not going to scuff up your driveway or your, your pavers, anything like that. And um, I'm very, very happy with it. Again, you can see the longevity of it. We do have like a little bit of buildup here in the basin itself, but we do keep it outdoors. We don't have it in a shed or anything like that. So I would say that if you want to keep this um, looking nice and maybe just something you're going to keep for a very long time, uh, make sure you probably store indoors, which is something we mistakenly really didn't do. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video review and I'll talk to you later.